<laughs> Slender. If you guys haven't heard of this game yet, you have now. Uh, I heard about this game on uh, Spill.com. Uh, just through casual conversation during uh, one of their uh, little podcasts. The host happens to mention a game that has been freaking him the hell out. Since it's called Slender, and it's free, and it's scary as hell. Uh, if you go to Slender.com, you can download it for free there, and uh, there's a little live-action trailer showing you what you're in store for. Uh, and I downloaded it a little while ago and played it for a few minutes. That was all I could stand, to be honest. Uh, and I'm, you know, uh, God, uh, the last few games I've ever played that, you know, really did scare the crap out of me were games like, you know, you know, obviously classic games like Silent Hill and such like that. And, uh, this is a game that relies so heavily on the atmosphere that that alone can make for a great, scary game. Guarantee it. And the fact that it's free is impressive. Uh, I actually uh, sent out a request, uh, well, yeah, more of a suggestion, really, uh, to um, a Let's Player that I follow, who I mentioned uh, a few videos ago, uh, Mr. Uh, Luke Mutesman, uh, if he would do a uh, if he would do a Let's Play video for it. Obviously, there have already been a whole bunch of videos for Slender, and people just freaking the hell out. Hell, people even putting up you know reaction videos to them playing Slender, and then just getting the shit scared out of them. Uh, if you guys want to, if you guys want to, if you guys want to know more about this game, uh, go to Slender.com. Uh, you can, you know, watch trailers. You can uh, watch reaction videos to it. You can download the game there for free. Uh, I played it. Um, you know, and I have to wonder. I mean, how popular has this game become? I mean, I'm surprised. I am surprised that they're not asking for any money for for this game, because, you know, I mean, you think for something like this that's, you know, that's getting this many people talking about it and so many videos and and everything, you think eventually they start asking for money. Yeah, and here's the thing. Uh, I haven't really mentioned what the game looks like. The game looks, and I don't mean for this to sound insulting, uh, this game sounds, you know, like any game that you would find on, uh, in the Xbox Live, uh, indie game section, in that the graphics are, uh, maybe PlayStation 1 quality, but, you know, you don't need good graphics for a good you know, scary game. You know, you need atmosphere. And and what makes this game work is the fact that you are in this forest at night and all you have is your flashlight. Uh, and, okay, what the object of the game is, you're in this huge enclosed forest and you have to find these eight pages that are apparently about the Slender Man. The whole time you're looking for them, the Slender Man is following you. And you'll know that because every time you, you know, look around, you know, you know, now, it, obviously at, at the start of the game, you know, you know, you know you're probably going to be looking around to try and find him, but you're probably not going to see him until probably after you collect the first page. Maybe. You can probably see him before then. But as the game goes along, as you collect more pages, there's this kind of ambient sound that begins to build up and get a little bit louder. And as you collect more pages, the Slender Man gets more and more aggressive, where he will you know, just begin appearing more and more and more, and you'll be seeing him a lot more. Uh, and it's very good at that. You know, it's very good at the idea of, I, I don't think I want to go 
this direction. Uh, I think I'm going to go this direction. And it's a game that makes you paranoid, where you'll be, you know, looking around, you know, as you're trying to walk forward, you know, you're looking behind your back, even though, you know, th there are certain notes that tell you, don't look back, just keep running, just keep moving. But really the thing is, is that there's really nowhere to go and there's really nowhere to hide. You know, uh, actually, I ha actually, I don't know how the game ends. And, and I understand people have beaten this game. And they posted videos of them beating the game. I'm actually kind of curious to know how the game ends. So, and if you're wondering exactly what the Slender Man is, uh, it's this uh, paranormal human looking creature that's, you know, um, grotesquely thin. He wears this uh, black suit with a tie, and his arms are elongated, and he has no, he has no, uh, no face. No, you know, he has no eyes, no mouth, no, no expression. And, and obviously the best approach to this is, is the fact that, you know, you can't, you know, really focus on him when you see him, because the more you look at him, the more a static effect begins to happen to you, because you're losing, your character is losing their sanity. And, and even as I was playing this game, it reminded me of a terrible movie. Stay Alive. Uh... A movie about a video game, nonetheless. Uh, the movie, not very good, but, damn it, can't, there we go. Sorry, I was trying to put the movie back in the rack. Uh, not a very good movie, but the moments that the movie is scary and that it's good is, you know, when you're watching a lot of the in-game sequences. And, uh, which sparked off an idea of, you know, what if there was actually a game like that? Aside from, you know, the whole thing of if you die in the game, then you die for real sort of thing. You know, I mean, that could actually make for a pretty good game. And that's what Slender Man does. At least for me, you know. Slender Man, you know, gives me the idea of, you know, of wanting to write out some more ideas and more gaming ideas. Shit that I will never publish. Because I don't know how to. So, yeah, uh, go online to, to slender.com and check it out. You can download it for free. It doesn't cost you a thing. It's the entire game. In fact, people have added stuff to the game. Uh, the latest version I downloaded uh, came with some new, um, added effects, uh, there's a fog effect, uh, I guess there were some game repairs that some people have made, so check it out, uh, validate your own opinion on the game, but the game is worth checking out, if you like being scared, you will like this game, so please, check it out, support these guys, I mean, what more could you ask for? See ya.